Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. It's a little rainy outside this morning, but that's okay. Uh, we enjoy the rain too. As you can kind of see behind me, there's a tent in our backyard. Kids tried sleeping in the tent last night. I think they made it to about 2.20. So good job for the kids. Uh, it's kind of cool outside now, so they're back in the house. And I'm sure we'll try again soon. A word of encouragement today comes from Ezekiel 36, uh, verse 26. And it says, I will, put, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Isn't that exactly what we want as new Christians? Here God is talking <clears throat> to the Israelites through Ezekiel, promising to pull them out of wherever captivity they've been in and draw them back into the promised land that he's given them. But isn't there a sense as Christians today that this is part of the new covenant? The covenant of God to give us new life? that we are lost in captivity to sin, and yet God is faithful to pull us out of that sin if we ask him. God is faithful to restore us and to, to give us a new heart, to take away that heart of stone and put his heart within us. That's the God we serve. That's the God who wants to help you. So when the devil's got you down, when the devil's telling you you're a failure, when the devil's reminding you of your past mistakes, you can remind him that God has given you a new heart. God has given you new life in him, that God has forgiven you and you belong to him. And that's encouraging to me today. I hope that's encouraging to you that no matter what we've done, God can change us. God will transform us and God will make us more like Christ. Praise God for that. Let me pray for you today. Father God, we thank you for this day, the awesome opportunity that you give us to come back to you, that even though we've sinned against you, even though we've chosen self, you and your great love have sent Jesus Christ to die on a cross and rise again, that we might not only have eternal life, but have your spirit live within us, that you've given us a new heart and a new life to live by. Father, would you help us to use that for your glory? Would you use us to reach out to others and to bring others into the faith? And may you get all the praise. Father, bless those today who are in need. Bless those who are hurting physically. Bless those who are hurting financially. Bless those who are hurting spiritually and emotionally. Father, there are so many hurting today, but may your love and your spirit, may it come to them, may it bless them and give them hope. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God is all about a transformation. God is all about transforming you, and he wants to continue to do that, whether you've known him for uh, <clears throat> 100 years or a couple days or don't know him at all. He's willing to start today. God loves you, and we do too. Have a great day. Hopefully, we'll see you in our service tomorrow at 11. We love you. God bless.